I'm the boat guy. <laughs> Cool. Hey. All right. Hi, I'm Andrew Carafa. I'm the captain of the SS Bodel, a STEM student at Northern and Eastern, and I'm a junior. So the Bottle Boat Project is a way to help the environment by eliminating plastic waste in the form of all the bottles that were being thrown away at school. It's also a way for me to accomplish my dream later in life, which is to build submarines and build boats. Okay, my initial research was just finding other things that people were doing around the world, mainly third world countries, because the way that I found this is I looked up PVC boat. Google images showed a raft of two liters in a third world country that a tribe was using to fish off of. And I showed it to my teacher and he's like, that? Y you should do that. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, really? Then it just kind of all took off from there. This is a one of the first drawings of what the boat would actually look like. Originally, it was going to have one seat be 34 inches wide and 46 inches long. Dimensions now are 39 inches by 102 inches. So I almost, I almost doubled how long it is. I talked to numerous adults in different industries like Mrs. Toygo at Endurance Apparel. I partnered with her to make these shirts and to raise money for my campaign. I also had experience kind of like leading a team almost because I invited a bunch of friends over and we really decided like what to do and I it was kind of like fun to almost like manage like building and construction. So I've put in a, li a little bit more than 200 hours <laughs> if it sinks. 1,154 water bottles. There are 32 two liters and two milk jugs. How many are left? <laughs> 2,000. 2,000 water bottles. And these are unfortunately probably just going to be recycled. This is from two weeks at Eastern. Two weeks of bottle collection at Eastern. If you think about all of the different schools across Michigan and across the US, how much plastic waste that is and that it's not being recycled, it's just going straight to landfills or the ocean. That's absurd. That's that's so much waste. So I was glad I was able to make a, even a little bit of a dent in making this boat, but really overall, the, the main focus is just to bring awareness to how much is actually being wasted right now. There are so many times where I thought, this is never going to work. I wasted 80 hours of my life. I wasted 120 hours of my life. I wasted 160 and it, it continued up until the very end, where even yesterday, I'm like, wow, the front of that, there's no way that's gonna work. But now we have a plan and it's, it's amazing that it's actually finally happened and that through all of this, we didn't give up because <laughs> there, there were a lot of times where I wanted to just give up and just trash the whole thing. But thanks to Endurance Apparel, for supplying me with these shirts. Thank you to everyone who bought a shirt. Thank you to all of you guys for helping me build. Yeah. Emotional? Well, the type oh, of emotion points. is kind of, ah, emotional like crying. You'll see me cry if it sinks. <laughs>